What's going on, everybody? Emmett Ferguson here, and this book is uh, primarily a review of the book The Last Mogul. But uh, also, this book, I, I think anybody who has ever wanted to make it in Hollywood needs to read this book. It's a biography of Lou Wasserman, one of the most ruthless, uh, well-known, biggest super talent agents of all time. And, and I, I think anyone who needs the, who has ever wanted to make it in Hollywood needs to read this book, not because, you know, you want to learn from this guy. Um, although, you know, I think at the, at the core level, after watching movies like Bombshell, hearing the stories of, you know, people who have taken advantage of their power and the amount of power that you can end up having in, uh, in the world of Hollywood, you know, it's people who mingle with uh, presidents and world leaders. So after knowing about that type, seeing that type of, those types of movies, you know, you realize that the world of Hollywood, you know, it was once run by this guy, Lou Wasserman. And while I think a lot of it, you know, just because of, of expectations, pu pu publicity and all that, and, you know, they completely took apart his company, you know, while I think a lot of it is probably toned down a little bit, I think at the the foundation, which, you know, I can't stay with, with proof, but at the foundation, there probably still is a level of um, ruthlessness um, at the top, top people in their game. Or maybe not ruthlessness, but at least, and, and not even abuse of power, but use of power. Right, not abuse, but realizing that you can make or break someone's career, anybody's career, um, you know, simply by being who you are and, and giving a, a word. You know, I think that has a certain impact on people, and, and there's very few industries in the world that are like this. Um, so, while this is not a, a book to like learn from, you know, how to be, it's definitely a book that gives you insight into the workings of an incredibly interesting industry, incredibly interesting business. And to get an idea of where the power players of the, the film industry entertainment came from, um, you know, if this, this book is written by a guy who documented the story, interviewed tons of people, uh, Dennis McDougal, um, covered Hollywood for a long time. And, and by the way, if you don't know who Lou Watson, let me just introduce this guy to you real quick. He helped uh, form beginning careers of, of guys, uh, women like Marilyn Monroe. Um, he worked with Alfred Hitch Hitchcock, Jimmy Stewart, Marlon Brando. Um, and let's see. Yep, he's, he helped to foster the beginnings of Steven Spielberg, George Lucas. So think about those people and think about the level of success that they achieved. And what do you think it takes to make that happen? It's not just because those actors or those entertainers were incredibly talented or good looking. It's because of the people behind the scenes, the agents, the managers, the lawyers, the, the use of power, not, not abuse. You know, there are some people that abuse the power, but there are some people that know how to use power ethically and well. Now, in this book, you know, obviously, the, I think the FBI and CIA investigated uh, Lou Wasserman for a lot of things and... Um, you know, not everything he did was was the most ethical. Although, you know, you think about the times that he was working in, and you know, there weren't those those uh, laws or uh, social movements that protected you know actors and such, right? Like he had more power than the unions back in those days. Um, you know, he he was the most powerful man in Hollywood, arguably. So this is a great book. If again, if you're interested in great great biographies, and I'm not saying this guy's bad. Like uh, you know, based just based on what the, the the government you know knows about this knows about Louis Wasserman. Obviously, you know, is portrayed very negatively. Um, but I don't know the guy. But based on this book, you know, um, it seems like you know you're just a, a very astute businessman back in those days where, you know, even uh, a lot of, uh, I think the, the mafia ran Hollywood, you know, a lot of 
very successful um, organized crime uh, people or organizations were pretty uh, well versed in how to you know build people in Hollywood so at some level you need some level of uh, ruthlessness to be able to compete in that market right now this book goes in depth about certain careers how some careers were made and built how much money was put into developing some careers and just to realize the amount of control the amount of influence the level of the level of influence and control that a person can have a powerful person in hollywood can have and how they can literally make or break somebody's career uh it it is revealed in this book now on one hand yes you know technology changes all that and this is this book's from from uh, over the past you know since the 19 uh, up until the 1990s so let's see let's see the first date of this book uh it goes from 1927 and even a little earlier 1925 all right so from the starting starting off in the 1920s and and building hollywood right from those days up until the 1990 obviously times have changed information is a lot and you know this, you're probably less likely to get away with certain things and there was less rules written um you know basically he probably created the rules himself and with that said you know the just the amount of insight that you get into the industry is just phenomenal on this and although this is one man in an industry with hundreds of thousands of people, maybe even millions of people who have tried to make it and, and failed, and some have succeeded, and although there are probably you know plenty of people that have, um, I would say, equaled his level of power or influence or whatever, you know, to, to understand the history of Hollywood, you know, to understand uh, where the industry, the business, the people might have come from you know what sort of perspective what sort of rumors they heard that might have influenced their decisions or who they are um, this is a, a great book to check out and it's not going to make you an expert on an industry in modern times right that's not the goal um, of this what i think this book can do for you or this review can do for you but at least understanding the hidden history right not just the the publications and everything but the truth behind the scenes of what really happens behind those agent stores um you know what why for anybody who's trying to get in the industry why you know just being another pretty or handsome face might not be good enough and it could it could be good enough to get you into the door but at least knowing, you know, getting a hint of the extreme of where uh, the, the power players in this business and what they do, at least getting that idea um, could be helpful to somebody. And if anything, it's a great story. I mean, just to get insight into, into Spielberg, Lord Lucas, Jimmy Stewart, how those people got big, what happened, what their lives were like um, outside of tabloids and all of that, um, you know, more than a century, half century, he was the most powerful and feared man in show business. You know, he was working with some of the biggest leaders in, in the world, presidents, and yeah, I mean, this isn't, this isn't conspiracy, this is real deal stuff. And, you know, when most people think entertainment, uh, the entertainment business, right? You think of the entertainment business, you probably think like, uh, maybe writers, you probably think directors, and of course you know actors. But the people who are, I don't want to say pulling the strings, but the people who are making the moves, putting the, the pieces into place, the people who are influencing big decisions um, are playing on a different scale, are playing a different game than you know somebody just trying to jump into the industry and to at least get some insight into how that works you know might up your chances and um you know not learn to be ruthless right you're not learning to be 
where this is an, an elusive, feared uh, show business man or woman. But at the end of the day, to realize what some of the power players might be doing, how the industry is built, and the more you know about something, the more opportunities you have for success. And you know, one, one, one possible thing, though, is this could make you paranoid. You know, and I mean paranoid in the sense like, oh, am I getting, if you're jumping in an industry or any business, you know, am I getting like, is this person pulling strings, making me like not get get work or, you know, do I need to talk to this person or does this person actually care about me in terms of my career? And, you know, while, while you're wondering that, you know, in reality, uh, I think, you know, for most people, um, the lessons that you learn from here are more so about what can possibly happen, how the business has been, because even though times change, you know, people still take on the lessons from decades ago. They, they apply them and they implement them. And, you know, as you can see from, from the movies and current situations, there's a lot of powerful people who, who took advantage of the power. And I, I think now, it seems like Lou Wasserman was not like the, he wasn't like the Harvey Weinsteins and the, uh, the movie bombshell, right? At least he's, he's not spoken about it in that way in the, in the book, but, um, definitely his ability, what you get from this book is that ability of, you know, what really happens when you gain that influence, right? What those those parties are like, what those uh, what like a day to day is like, at least from the 1920s up to the 90s. Now today, uh, you know, there's probably a different, uh, much bigger picture um, involved with with technology and everything. But learn the secrets. Learn what the the last mogul um, of Hollywood has to say. I mean, he's probably not not the last, but it's a great title nonetheless. And you know, take away something good from it, you know, and I wish everyone who is watching this, who has, who is considering a career in Hollywood or considering at least, uh, considering reading a good biography to get some insight into such a interesting industry, uh, check this out. Learn about one of the most successful, mm, successful agents in history, or at least most powerful and feared agents in history. You know, get an idea, a glimpse into their life and what it takes to succeed, the type of networking that you have to do, the types of people that you have to meet, what they think about. You know, and this is just one guy, so, you know, it doesn't relate to everybody. I'm sure there's a lot of very unfeared, uh, successful business people in Hollywood. And, um, you know, they probably tell a different story. And again, there's a side of the creatives who have a very innovative story like Star Wars, E.T., um, you know, a very specific look. And then there's the people that are behind the scenes putting all of those pieces together who are exercising their level, their influence and their, uh, their power to make certain things happen. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot out of this video. I hope you check out this book by Dennis McDougall, The Last Mogul. Um, there's a link in the description below that gives you a lot of details on it. And uh, wish you the best on everything. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and uh, pick up the book on Amazon. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.